What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Smeekle, and we have a highly requested video for you guys today. We are going to be going through every single 2K game ever made and scoring with the cover athletes. So we're going to be starting on the original NBA 2K and going all the way to NBA 2K21. Before we start off this video, though, guys, I just launched my website again, hoops.com. That is hoops with two S's. And I'm selling some pretty cool custom cases. This is an example of one of them right here. This is called the Legends case. Uh, and I also have a bunch more you can see on screen right now. Uh, but if you guys actually want to purchase one of these, go over to my website. Link will be in the description down below. And also, if you use code SMEAKWILL, you'll get 10% off on your order. But let's get right into the gameplay. All right, so starting this thing off, of course, we got the original NBA 2K released in 1999. And when this game came out, I was just turning one years old. Cover athlete for this game is, of course, Allen Iverson. And we're going to be seeing a lot of Allen Iverson for the next few 2Ks because he somehow managed to get on the cover for a few years in a row. So Allen Iverson was the highest rated player in this game at a 97 overall. And this is his last game where he's the highest rated. So for all these games, we're just gonna be hopping into exhibition or play now, uh, whatever it's called in all the years. And we're just gonna be scoring, of course, with the cover athlete. This is gonna be so much easier than our video where I had to hit a three in every game. Some players just weren't great at threes in 2K. Um, you couldn't even check the ratings. Where is AI? Do we have a pass thing? Okay, here we go. We got AI with the ball. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get like a nice two point fade right here. And that is money. That's so easy with AI. It's so easy to score in these early games. I could hit threes though. But moving on to NBA 2K1 yet again, we got Allen Iverson. We are halfway through the AI covers. So this year, AI actually dropped one overall, went down to a 96 overall. Still one of the best players in the game but not the highest rated. All right, I cannot get a tip off here. I'm probably gonna lose 90% of the tip offs in these games. They're just all so different. That's a brick. Give me the ball, AI with the board right there. Let's run it down the court. I wanna see if I can get a dunk. Can I get around here inside? Oh my gosh. I'm coming in for the dunk. We go for the layup and jeez. The defending animation is so weird in this game. All right, I guess we're just gonna fade away again. Why not? I mean, it, it's what AI is great at and we're gonna score quite easily there. Let's move on to the next game. All right, we are on to NBA 2K2. Of course, we got Allen Iverson yet again. And I moved on from the Sega Dreamcast onto the PS2 now. This year, Allen Iverson going down another overall down to a 95. And all like the menu controls are completely different now. So it's going to be a little confusing for me with, with switching consoles and everything. Uh, this time we're actually going to face off against the Supersonics. Because I mean, they're not going to be here for long. So, so, so far been pretty easy to score with Iverson. 2K2 should be some of the same. I want to see if I can score differently. I still cannot win a tip off. Okay, so Sprint is R1. I, I got a PS4 controller, so a little different. All right, can we get inside here? and there it is the nice like a reverse layup we get the shooting foul as well so let's see if we can get the free throw i whoa i don't know i don't know what that was but and of course up next nba 2k3 Allen iverson on the cover again and he's actually on one more after this i thought he was just up until 2k3 he actually has one more Allen iverson with a huge rating drop this year down to a 90 overall Started off at a 97, a few years later at a 90. But he has an 83 three-point this game, so I think I want to try to get a, a, a three with him. All right, can I finally win a tip-off here? No. Not even close. It's so different from how the tip-offs are today. Same with the controls, like squares to go for rebounds. What if we just pulled up from three? Oh my gosh, that was so close. Let's give it to him again. We're open this time. And there it is with AI, two attempts. Not bad at all to hit the three right there. I mean, we we got to mix it up a little bit. We can't just be doing the same thing with AI. Uh, but there's 2K3. Again, it's been pretty easy to score with AI. Up next, we got ESPN Basketball. They actually ended up changing the name for this. ESPN Basketball. It's still 2K4, though, as you can see in the bottom right. And of course, yet again, we got Allen Iverson as our cover athlete. And this is his final game. Allen Iverson actually going up to a 92 overall in this game. 
All right, to ESPN basketball. Is this where I win a tip off? Oh, I thought I had it there. Oh my gosh, these controls are weird. Okay, where is Iverson? There we go. Uh, sprint is like that. Let's just fade away with him. Not really a fade away. It's so easy to score in these early games. Up next, we got ESPN basketball again, but ESPN 2K5 and on this cover, we have Ben Wallace coming off that NBA championship, finally switching it up from Allen Iverson. Despite being the cover athlete though, Ben Wallace was only an 87 overall. I mean, this Detroit Pistons team, their top four players are pretty close. Let's give it to Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace, give it to Ben Wallace right there. How do you post up? Okay, L1 is to post up. Let's just back down Devox here and see what we can do. Get it. Oh, okay, there's the steal. Now, where's Ben Wallace? There you are. Pass. No, pass. Pass to Ben Wallace. This passing is awful. Okay. All right. We can't get that, that five second back to the basket again. I mean, I got to get inside. What's going on right here? What's going on with my players? Here we go. Ben Wallace. That was bad. All right. I think I got the controls down. Nope. I keep hitting L2. And there we go. Big rebound. There's Ben Wallace. Can we get inside here, maybe? Let's post up. Nope, that's not gonna work. Man, I keep hitting L2 and R2, but they're not what I wanna be hitting. There he is. Oh my gosh, there we go. Finally, we get the bucket to go with Ben Wallace. I just didn't know the controls. I didn't know how to post up properly. And it was just weird getting down low. Yeah, definitely a lot easier to shoot in these early games than post up even though both of them are not too difficult to do. Next up, we got NBA 2K6 with Shaquille O'Neal on the cover, and he was the first player to win a championship the same year he was on the 2K cover. Shaq wasn't even the highest rated player on his team, though. That was actually Dwayne Wade at a 97. Shaq came in at a 96, though, so right behind him. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm face off against the Hornets this year because look at their awful overall. A 62 overall, that's... That's just kind of embarrassing. I mean, this was this was with a young Chris Paul and J.R. Smith. Obviously, they went on to do a lot better things than this team's overall. That's what we need now. All right, I better win this tip off. What? Okay, I don't, I don't know what that thing at the top was. I was too busy looking at that. We lost the tip off. And obviously, we got to change the camera angle again. Okay, what I really want to do here is give it to D-Wade and throw an oop to Shaq. But I... Don't know how to do that, actually. So let, let's just give it to Shaq. Let's post up here. And let's get an easy dunk. Oh, okay. There we go. We'll take that. I thought I was about to get a call for, for hitting that when it was still on top of the rim. But hey. Next up, we got NBA 2K7. And yet again, we got Shaquille O'Neal on the cover. Our second back-to-back -back cover athlete. I wish I could leave the menu music on because it's so cool, but I'll, I'll just get copyrighted, so I can't do that. Kilo Neal dropping in rating this game, going down to a 92, and D-Wade actually went up. I mean, at this point in time, this is when Shaq's career started to go downhill. Man, my ears, this game is so loud. Holy, okay, let, let's give it to Jason Williams. Give it right up to Shaq. Let's get in the post here. Fade away. And put that up nice and easy with Shaq. I mean, Shaq versus Zaza, not fair at all. NBA 2K8, we got Chris Paul as the cover athlete. Oh, uh, we actually have normal controls in the game now. Chris Paul is a 91 overall in this game. We haven't had the top player as the cover athlete in any of the games except for the first one with Allen Iverson. We're facing off against the Celtics here. They're probably one of the best teams in the game. This is actually the year the Celtics went on to win the championship. So this should be fun. -ish. Hopefully we're not playing playoff Rondo right here. Yeah, let's go New Orleans. Jump for that. And there we go. I finally won a tip off. You know what? I want to score on this awful uh, camera angle. Let's just pull up. Chris Paul. All right. I don't care about them scoring at all. Let's give it to Chris Paul here. Um, okay. Is R1 still sprint? I think so. How do we get a screen? L1 maybe? Triangle? What was that? Okay. Triangle, you like step back. Let's come inside here and oh my gosh. What? 
just happened. NBA 2K9 is up next, and Kevin Garnett is our cover athlete coming off of that NBA title. Uh, we're actually still on the PS2 for these games. It was out on PS3, but they weren't working for me, so that's why we're sticking with the PS2 versions. Kevin Garnett is rated a 98 overall in this game. I think that might actually be the highest. Kobe Bryant and LeBron were actually both 98s as well, so, so tied for the highest overall, but at least we have another cover athlete that is the highest rated player. It should be a pretty easy one to score, though, considering we're the defending champions. Get back to this camera angle. Give it to Garnett in the post. That's not how you post up. Let's fade away, right? Oh, my gosh. That was bad. That was... Okay, these controls are so confusing, but, I mean, they bricked that. Let's give it to Garnett right here. Let's get in the post. Get right inside here. Get a nice, easy dunk again. I feel like dunking was pretty OP in these games because last time we had Chris Paul, we just got right inside there nice and easy with Garnett. But that's it for 2K9. Up next, we got NBA 2K10 with, of course, the late, great, the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Going into this year's 2K, he just came off that championship. And in 2010, he gets the repeat as well. So very deserving to be the cover athlete this year. And he was actually rated at a 97 overall. Like you can see right here, just how laggy this game is. So I'm gonna keep this one short, even though I would like to play with Kobe Bryant a bit. Uh, so let's just let him score on defense here. I don't, I mean, just put up that shot. Somehow he hit that. And let's get over to Kobe here. I think our best option here is to try to get inside, get some sort of dunk or layup. Cause I mean, this is just off. Okay. Okay, let's get in the post. Okay, I was going, going for the post fade. That did not work at all. How do, how do we even post up here? L2, here we go. All right, let's post up. Fade away. And that is money. That is overpowered. You just do that all day long in this game, but that's going to be it for 2K10 because this thing is way too leggy. Up next, we've got NBA 2K11, and this is our first retired player on a 2K cover. Of course, we got Michael Jordan right here. This game considered by a lot to be one of the greatest 2Ks of all time. Um, I will say, uh, the game's already glitched out for me. And I can al also only go to the right on this. Okay. Michael Jordan, of course, rated at a 99 overall in this game on the 95-96 Bulls. So hopefully, okay, it actually works this time. So I got an Xbox controller instead of a PS4 controller. And now everything is working all right. So let's get these 95-96 Bulls and... And let's go up against the Supersonics. Why not? And we actually win the tip off right here. And we're on the normal camera angle. All right. So, of course, we got Jordan. I mean, we got to try to get inside and go for some crazy dunk. I don't know how to call for screens. Is it L1? I honestly don't know. Let's try to get around here inside. No. We are blocked. We're going up for a crazy dunk there. All right. Let's give it to MJ. I don't know how to call for screens for sure. To come along the baseline here. I mean, we're pulling up. Uh, so the Duncan, not working with Michael Jordan right now. We're at the free throw line. Uh, but yeah, score with Jordan. And let's just move on to the next game. NBA 2K12, we got Michael Jordan on the cover yet again. But they actually released two special editions of the game where Larry Bird and Magic Johnson were also on the cover. So we're going to be scoring with all three of them in the game. This is actually the first time 2K did this. And they do it a lot more in the future with multiple cover athletes. And 2K12 was actually the first 2K I ever played. Now, in 2K12, they had these pretty cool things where you could step into the shoes of the greatest players of all time. Uh, so that, I think that's actually what we're going to be doing for this video. Of course, MJ, Magic, and Larry Legend right here. Let's, let's start off with the best one. Let's start off with Michael Jordan. I mean, I think we got to play like a full scenario here, but we're just going to be scoring one bucket and leaving it at that. And they actually had these cool filters on the games as well. So it actually kind of made you feel like you're playing back then with the, the TV coloring and everything. Come on. Give me the steal. Give me the steal. There we go. Big steal by Michael Jordan. Fast break. Dunk. And there it is. That's what I've been trying to do right there. So one of three cover athletes down. Let's move on. All right. So up next, we got the Lakers here. I just got to give it to Magic Johnson. I'm, I'm still not exactly sure what the controls are in this game. Let's pop a three with Magic. Oh, that release. 
And there we go. Big steal. Give it to Magic here. Let's push it inside. And that is going to fall with Magic. Pretty easy to score here. Let's move on to our final cover athlete. So moving on to our final cover athlete. Last but not... I mean, I was going to say last but not least. But, I mean, I guess he would be the worst of the three players. Okay, where's Larry at? Let's try to get a steal or something. That's not going in. I can't get the board. Let's give it to Larry. Let's pop the three. He don't miss those. That is cash. Nice and easy. I mean, it. three of the greatest players in NBA history. Not going to be a difficult challenge at all. And let's move on to our next game. Moving on to our last game of the last gen consoles. We got NBA 2K13 and again, another game with three cover athletes. We got Blake Griffin, Kevin Durant, and D. Rose. Blake Griffin coming in at an 86 overall in this game. Not even close to his teammate Chris Paul, who's a 94. Derrick Rose was a 92 overall. And then Kevin Durant was a 94. All right, so here we go with D. Rose. We do got dribble moves in this game, which is nice. Uh, so let's actually... Let's try to ISO here a little. Try to get inside with the Rose. There we go. And a big dunk over Russell Westbrook. Westbrook cannot do anything right there. Make our way over to the Thunder now. Where's Durant? In the corner. Let's pop the three. And that's nice and easy right there. So two of our three cover athletes down in 2K13. Let's move on to Blake Griffin. Can we get inside? Nice pump fake and go up with that. Nice little spin boo. I mean, not the dunk. I, I really wanted to go into that dunk contest and do that jumping over a car. But I think that was 2K12 where you're able to actually just play the dunk contest. But that's it for 2K13. I am finally moving on to current gen games. We got NBA 2K14 up here first. And on the cover of 2K14, we have LeBron James. Surprisingly, this was the first game he was on the cover of. LeBron was the highest rated player in this game at a 99 overall, which doesn't happen too often. All right, where is LeBron James right here? Let's just go up with that. Like, look how many players were guarding me right there. And that's how easy it is to score with LeBron James. That, I mean, that's pretty much been him since this game. Uh, LeBron's just super overpowered. Nowadays, it's like Giannis is just as overpowered. And then you got Stephen Curry, who doesn't miss threes. There's NBA 2K14 for us. Hopping into our next game, NBA 2K15. Kevin Durant back on the cover again. But this was the first time where he was on the cover alone. And Durant was a 95 overall in this game. Uh, you can pretty much do everything. All right, I just had to go Thunder versus Warriors, you know, before Durant knew that he was going to blow a 3-1 lead and then join the Warriors. I actually got a shot meter in this game, though, which is nice. And that was probably the worst release I could have possibly done right there. There we go. A little better right there. And we are going to hit the three dice and easy. Was this the first shot meter? Did they have a shot meter in 2K14? Like, they didn't have, like, the ones you have now where you got to time it. In 2K14, I just scored with LeBron with a layup, so it was nice and easy. Oh, there we go. That's a perfect release. The green bead. We had to get that before ending this game. Next up, we got NBA 2K16, and there were three cover athletes for this game. Stephen Curry, Anthony Davis, and James Harden. And you got to pick who you wanted on the cover when you went and got the game from the store. Let me know who you guys got. I actually went with Stephen Curry for my cover, and... You know, I'm kind of happy I, I went with him. And then there was also a special edition cover with Michael Jordan on it. So Michael Jordan getting on his third game. Anthony Davis was a 92 overall. James Harden was a 92 overall. And Steph Curry was the highest of the three cover athletes at a 93. Until we come over here to the 96 Bulls. And of course, Michael Jordan, a 99. So we're going to be scoring with all four of the players for this game. And I thought it'd be easier just to come into blacktop mode, a 2v2, to score with these guys. All right, start off with the ball here with Stephen Curry. And there's only one way to score with Curry. That was an awful release, but it doesn't matter. It still goes in. Let's come over here to Anthony Davis next. I mean, huge height advantage from everywhere else. Oh my gosh, how did we miss that? And James Harden gets the bucket. Doesn't count because we didn't use him, but I don't know how we missed that dunk there. There we go. Second time's the charm. Get it over to James Harden next. Can we step back? Okay, controls are way different in this game. Uh, good defense there by Curry. Back to Harden from three. And that is cash as well. 
Oh my gosh, Curry is locking me down. Here we go. Get inside and easy dunk with Michael Jordan right there. And that is going to be our four cover athletes for 2K16. Our next game, we got NBA 2K17, which of course had the infamous Paul George loading screen. Luckily, I didn't get it there. I don't even know if you get it anymore without the online servers or if they even ended up patching that at all. But yeah, Paul George was our cover athlete. And then we also had a legend edition with Kobe Bryant on it. Paul George was a 91 overall in the game. And then we had Kobe on the 2001 Lakers in this game, and he was a 95. Uh, so no, no super high rating for Kobe in this game at all. Oh, I forgot they had all the college teams in 2K17 as well. That was pretty cool when they added those. Facing the Indiana oh my Pacers. gosh, that tip hop was so bad. All right, let's Look, give it to Paul George again. With a miss. Boy, what let's get inside, that, Greg, I mean, spinning. Get that rebound. Second attempt, and there we go with Paul George. And then let's come over to the Lakers now. Give it to Kobe. I want to see what his post fade is like in this game because we did it way back when we had him as the cover athlete for the first time. Not really a post fade. He kind of did a little bit of a hook shot there, but we get the shot to go. And there's 2K17. Next up is the greatest 2K of all time, 2K18. And we actually had a few cover athletes this year. We had Kyrie Irving on the normal edition Shaq on the legends edition and then there was also a canadian edition with demar derozan on so we got three players to score with here derozan was an 89 overall in this game Kyrie was a 93 overall and he actually switched teams in this offseason after they made the cover so they actually had to do a jersey swap and then this year 2k added all-time teams so we got shaquille o'neal on the all-time lakers at a 98 overall so i'm gonna start off with Kyrie and demar it feels pretty nice to have Demar back on the Raptors. Fortunately, Raptors were just eliminated, which kind of sucks. Was hoping they'd make the finals. Here we go, nice steal with the Rosen to start this off. And you already know, step back, mid-range shot. Oh my gosh, that was such a bad shot. That was such a bad shot. Okay, sorry. These these shot meters they they just change so much. And that's a green bean heavily contested. I mean, DeRozan don't miss those mid-range shots. Except for the first shot I had where um, it was just an awful release. Let's get around Lowry here. Inside. And that is too easy with Kyrie. And uh, let's just bully down low. Let's get into the paint. Nobody. Oh my gosh. We got fouled. We got fouled. All right. I don't think I've scored foul shots yet. Or maybe I have in 1-2K. But let's see. Okay, I don't even know if that's possible with Shaq. Temp number one, ain't it? Temp number two? Are you kidding me? Right, let's try this again with Shaq. Hopefully they don't hack us this time. Let's get inside, and there it is. Shaquille O'Neal, that was nasty. And a great way to end off NBA 2K18. Ah, it always sucks coming and playing this game. NBA 2K19 is up next. Giannis Antetokounmpo is the cover athlete of the normal version of the game. For the 20th anniversary edition, we had LeBron James as the cover athlete. And there was also an Australian edition with Ben Simmons as the cover athlete. Ben Simmons came in at an 88 overall in 2K19. Giannis was a 96 and LeBron James was also a 96. We're starting off here, Lakers versus Bucks. Uh, two highest rated players in the game. I thought we'd, we'd do LeBron and Giannis first. End with Ben Simmons. Shout out to any Australians out there. Just come over to Giannis. Giannis is so overpowered in 2Ks now. Got this like nice little hop step, come inside. And he's just unstoppable. Then we come over to, to LeBron here. Let's try to get a, ourselves a screen. I mean, Giannis playing some good defense right here. Oh, you know what I want to try to do? Okay, never mind. Let's just pop that with LeBron. And I don't know how we hit that. All right, so here we go with Ben Simmons, another player that's pretty overpowered. I mean, with how tall he is as a point guard. Like, you can just back down a lot of these, these smaller guards in the game. And they really can't do anything against you. Get inside here. And that is money. It, it's just that easy with the three players in 2K19. They're all such overpowered players. Moving on to our second final game, we got NBA 2K20. Feels good to be finally done with that game. On the cover, we had Anthony Davis, and on the Legend Edition, we had Dwayne Wade. Anthony Davis, a 96 overall in this game, and then Dwayne Wade, a 97 overall on the all-time heat. I actually want to turn the shot meter off. I want to get a screen here again, because D-Wade, okay. Danny Green, can you stop playing so close? 
Okay, I, d I don't want this to be the way that D-Wade scores, but I mean, perfect release right there. We got to go with it. But D-Wade probably had the nastiest release in this game. If we can actually get open from three. And look at that. A green bean. It's just so easy to hit with him with the shot meter off. He was, he was real cheese in my team. All right, now let's come over to AD. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard either. Let's get in the post here. Let's fade away. You know, shake around a little, get the easy bucket. And there is 2K20 right there. I mean, we've played so much 2K20 recently past year. I'm happy it didn't take long. Moving on to our final game, our current game. We got NBA 2K21, Damian Lillard on the cover of the current gen, Zion Williamson on the cover of next gen. We don't have that quite yet though. And then of course, Kobe Bryant on the cover of the legend edition. So that makes two times Kobe on the legend edition for a 2K definitely deserves it rest in peace kobe bryant zion williamson is an 86 overall in this game which is pretty impressive after just playing his rookie season and then damian lillard is a 94 a big boost for him this year i believe he's the second highest rated point guard just behind stephen curry and then of course we got kobe bryant on the all-time lakers coming in at a 98 should be a 99 so we're gonna start 2k21 off with damian lillard and zion williamson and then end it off with Kobe Bryant, I mean, I think there's no other way to do it. Let's start off here with D. Lillard. See what we got here. He's hot. Come on. And that is money. Not bad at all. Still kind of getting used to the shot meter. Uh, it, it's weird after playing every 2K and then coming to this shot meter. is interesting. Kind of seeing just the development of the shot meters throughout all the years. Zion inside and one i think this might be one of our only and ones in this entire video so hopefully we can make the free throw all right give me the rock there oh my gosh that was a bad release it still goes in with zion and there's lillard and zion down so here we are our final cover athlete kobe bryant the only way to end this thing after playing 22 2Ks. I don't know how many cover athletes, but ending this thing off with the one and only Kobe. And there it is, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That I don't know how long this video is. That took forever to record. I edited like halfway before I finished recording. But if you guys are actually still here, if you guys are still watching this video, leave a smiley face down below. Let, let me know that you watched through the whole thing. I, I, who knows if there'll actually be anybody doing that. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been your boy Speakwell, and I'll see you next time. Peace.